Inquisitor General Black and her holy defender have returned to Black Lake to find out once and for all what really lurks behind Telma's bookcase. It's the last of the tombs related to Halioth Never, founder of Neverwinter. A dog. Lily can't resist. She takes out Nyatar's scented fetish, grips it in her hand, and approaches the mangy beast, wondering if he'll say anything. <laughs> well, anything she can understand. And she didn't understand a single growl or bark. Maybe canines just aren't smart enough. Like little pumpkin, still outside, with that man in Tana's bane. Lily can stand it no longer, and admonishes Telma for letting her daughter stand out of doors and out of sight with strangers about. Telma laughs. She's not alone. She's with her uncle. Alright, Lily, speaking the password to get behind the bookshelf in Telma's house. Another unmarked tomb. Though, Lily doubts it's the tomb of Halioth Never himself, as he's said to be buried in the depths of Castle Never. She has only one ceremonial token left. This tomb's riddle is an arrow in flight. It has to be the ceremonial arrow, and Lanou has nothing to say. If it is Never's tomb, he said to lie on a huge slab of stone, encircled by a ring of naked swords, laid with their points radiating outward, and that the swords animate to attack any intruders if the precise instructions graven in cryptic verses on the flagstones are not followed. The swords are said to be twelve in number. And to be magical as well, though the real prize would undoubtedly be in Lord Never's sarcophagus. Alright. <laughs> so we're actually in Never's tomb. The founder of Neverwinter. <laughs> this is bringing back bad memories. These are the Swords of Never. And I think there's... How many are there? Uh, <laughs> too many of them. I think we'll give it a shot, but... Uh, this is one of those fights I think that you're really not supposed to win. Challenging. Alright, let's see how it goes. Really, what she came for is in that sarcophagus. Let's see what happens here. Right, missile storm. What happened? <laughs> Spider's gone. Missile storm. Oh, she keeps losing sight. They're all over Lanou. Goddess, take you now! Alright, she's a little close here. <laughs> Alright, Lanou didn't make it. It's just bones. And, uh, she doesn't even have a summon monster left. Alright. Another missile storm. Yeah, we didn't really make much progress. <laughs> Look, um... Oh, alright. One found Lily. That's it. <laughs> I'm gonna check back here. All right, there went bones. All 
Yeah, the only thing. Oh, it's the sword. The only thing in here is uh, that sarcophagus. There it is. All right. There's two swords on her. They're both near death, though. Holy cow. I don't think there's really much you can do. is not even enough. Yeah, I think we'll give it another shot, but again, don't have much hope. <laughs> Lily has a sudden, eerie, strange feeling of familiarity. A weirdness of sorts, as if everything she's experiencing right now has happened already. Yeah, I'm thinking there's... What else we could try? I don't want to rearrange books just for... one fight. Because again, this isn't about her pride and defeating the swords of never. It's simply about getting what's in the sarcophagus, but might as well try it again. Yeah, I don't think she has anything... Can't use really any area of effects. Haste. That could help. Actually, try that. I think she has a potion. Yeah. Get these spells off quicker. Plus, uh... Let her position herself better. Okay. See how this goes. Alright, so the one problem was line of sight. They want to help Lanou out. So I guess we'll start with uh, Isaacs on this guy. Sword. Oh, she's in trouble. Concentration success. I'm surprised. All right, we just gotta get out of there. All right, still after her. It's badly wounded. And it had to be the flaming sword. <laughs> I don't know if it has uh, immunities to fire. Alright. Just gonna get a little further away. Oh, there goes Bones. Alright, maybe uh, just get Bones to tie up this one. There we go. You know what, I think we're gonna assume it's immune to fire. Just regular magic missile. Uninjured. How's Lunu doing? Badly wounded. Someone up there for her. Can't believe we actually got this far. All right, flame arrow. <laughs> there goes Lunu. All right, the wand of magic missiles, which is not going to be that effective. All right, better take opportunity to uh, heal up. No, it's close. Nels. Hurry up. <laughs> that 
here a strange feeling of familiarity is back. I don't know, that was awfully close. Tempt us to give it one more try. So we had speed and invisibility. I wish we had improved invisibility for uh, Leto. But again, I don't want to really change any books. I think, um, try it one more time. So what else can we do though? What else can we do? I think, um, Yeah, resistance <laughs> isn't going to help anybody. Stone skin for... Well... That could help. At least to, uh... Boy, what level is that? Yeah... I don't know. Summons uh, important, I think, just to divert attention from the beginning. Yeah, I think we'll just give it another shot. Let's see if we get any lucky, luckier. <laughs> All right, pushing the speed. And, uh, you know what? Ox is cunning. And, uh, invisibility. Okay. Oops. So I think she's gonna... Yeah, that was part of the... Part of the problem is she caught the attention of one of them. Alright. So I think we're gonna try to help Lanu right away. Mrs. Storm. She's got three swords on her, though. with the uh, magic missile. Oh man. What happened over here? I was gonna have to run soon. Alright, recalling bones. I think we're doing worse this time. <laughs> so one sword left for Lanu. These two are about to come up. That's Bones' problem. Look at that, swinging her hips. <laughs> All right. So I think, uh, oh, what do we got left? Flame arrow. Think we'll be. Oh, we got the targeting right. Near death. Martin Elves. Alright. <laughs> Hopefully this one will go after balls. Get one more mouse and then uh, run. Oh, there's a third one here. Yeah, did it worse this time. Look at that. Are they all three near death? <laughs> so unfair. Alright. Magic missiles. <laughs> Alright.
unable to shake that eerie, strange feeling, Lily decides to err on the side of caution, in case it is Never's tomb. Hey there, dear. What can I do for you? All right, I guess Lily explains to Lunu that <laughs> it's a bad premonition about what's beyond to wait for her here, out here. <laughs> if it is, she could simply follow the cryptic verses on flagstones. Invisible, in case she makes a mistake. Sure enough, it's Halle of Never's tomb, lit by Eldritch Blue Fires, and the Swords of Never, already animated, though she only counts four, not twelve. He's buried with an enchanted great axe, and a suit of rusted armor. There's also an inscription on the sarcophagus. Though the foundation is buried, always it is there, filled with promise and hope, never with regret. How you've never father found her. Where's the millennia old treasure? I hoped that you would return, so I waited here. I've hardly damaged anything since you left. I thought you'd be proud. May I join with you once more, my friend? Alright, finally ready to leave. <laughs> no amulets, rings, or even boots? Lily's crime of the ages that she dreamed about dashed. Just a lousy weapon and a suit of armor bearing the symbol of Tear that's barely survived the ages. Lily just hopes Giles will pay well for all three relics. I should mention that the Swords of Never battle is one of the more notorious challenges in the game, especially at lower levels, as it's akin to fighting four 8th level fighters. <laughs> and a popular tactic is to simply use the Stone of Recall in the middle of combat once one or two swords have been destroyed, in order to heal up and return to destroy the remainder. But. Personally, I'm going to try to avoid tactics like that unless a battle is not only too challenging, but unavoidable. 